DHL have done it again. Two years ago, I thought they stole UPS's thunder very nicely with their parcel copter 3. UPS had been making lots of noise and then up popped DHL with news of real-world testing that had repeatedly delivered parcels from a tilt rotor to and from an automated distribution centre. DHL today announced a medical delivery trial in Tanzania, one that has been quietly operating on the shores of Lake Victoria for several months. This time it's not UPS that's taken a hit, but Zipline's product, for two reasons. Reason number A. In 2017, Zipline announced that they were starting a service in Tanzania, but to the best of my knowledge, it's not actually started. They seem to have been pipped at the post. And the second more important reason, the DHL Parcel Copter 4 is a VTOL, Vertical Takeoff and Landing. It's a German wing copter. FPV world champion Luke Bannister recently set a VTOL speed record with one. What does this mean? It means that unlike Zipline, which is a one-way service, the Parcel Copter 4 can return samples to be tested or any other cargo that fits into its pod. Furthermore, the wing copter does not need expensive launch and recovery facilities. DHL seems to be the only delivery company actually doing the work and gathering data about real use cases. They don't make as much noise as, say, Amazon, but when we do hear from them, it's another leap forward. Well done, everyone involved. I can't wait to see what's next. Our people need medicine. If they cannot get them, it means they are gone. Especially in the areas that have got geographical challenges like Ukerewe Island, which is at the midst of Lake Victoria. We have about more than 400,000 people in Ukerewe district. And we face a number of diseases such as malaria, typhoid, schistosomiasis and the like. We are responsible of distributing medicine in the Lake Victoria region. The last mile supply is so difficult because of the infrastructure. Our roads are still very poor, especially in the rural area. We can go by lake, but the vessel in the lake, they are not reliable you don't get the diagnosis results on time. You don't get the necessary medicines on time. There is a threat of death. We thought of how we can improve delivery of health supplies, especially to those hard to reach island areas. So that's where the pass helicopter come into play. The bicycle can overcome a number of challenges, especially in the areas that are not easily reachable. Parcel copter always fly autonomously and we see where drone it is just in case we can make any decision at the right time. Their third water technology give their drone to go vertically and then change the mode to transition mode. They can land at a very small area where you don't have runways. The technology itself is innovative in the sense that it really addresses the challenges that we have in Tanzania. There is a case of snake bite, tetanus patient. We need a quick delivery of drugs. Not only a helicopter will deliver commodities quickly, but also can help in the cold chain will make sure the temperature is not compromised. The products will get to the patient with the quality is required. So we design a mission, then we upload the mission to the drone. We send autonomously to the place where we want to go. Like here we send from Mwanza to Okerewe Islands. Samples are collected in this hospital and then on a weekly basis they are taken to Uganda Medical Centre. But with the Pass Helicopter project, they can be taken after every two or even three hours. They need to get the results as well as quickly so as a patient and start the treatment. I should take this opportunity to thank DHL, the GIZ under the German Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development and the Wingcopter team. We had tough times when we started, but now we see light at the end of the tunnel. 
hii kwa maisha mbele na ya baadaye nilikuwa naomba hiki kitu kisije kikatoka kiendelee kuwepo sababu kinatusaidia sisi na wengine wanaokuja pia kwa hiyo kinakuwa na usaidizi mkubwa if this can be scaled throughout the country that will be so lovely this is a project that uh, is going to save a lot of life it will change the whole equation completely this is going to be a big achievement an icebreaker into the drone technology in Tanzania and probably in Africa.